Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, Kelvy, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to get prime frames and weapons really quick in Warframe. So getting like the relics and just using them really quick as possible. So for example, say a new prime comes out, then you can just know how to get them like really quick and sell them for a lot of plaques. So if you didn't know, when a new prime comes out, and if you're lucky enough to sell them, sell that like frame in like an hour of them release, that is a lot of platinum you can get at least like 700. 600 plat for a prime frame so now you just if you want to know how to do that you do need to know like the times the updates come out and so on but before the video starts i do want to say we do have a giveaway on my discord and on the youtube channel so if you want to enter into some giveaways make sure you do go to check out the giveaway video on youtube and also if you want to join the discord one my discord is in the description down below and you can just join the discord and there's a giveaway tab that you can just join and then you should be able to see on how to actually join so now let's get to the video. So getting prime frames is really easy. It's just simple. It's just relics. Now you're probably going to wonder how, what is the fastest way to farm relics and what is the fastest way to use them. So now relics come from like defense missions, uh, capture missions, survival and interception. Now and excavation. Now they're the ones that I normally do for them. And they also do come from bounties as well on the open world. So all, the, all three open worlds you can get. Uh, relics from them so they're the ways to get relics on well, the way that I get relics is from them ways uh, the fastest way to do them is probably capture capture is a really one, good one to do because they are really fast to do uh, defense missions are kind of good to do it depends uh, who you bring in if you can run them really quick uh, same with survival uh, it's basically the same you just need to be able to survive for a long time and you'll get relics quite often from doing them um, interception as well is a really good one, especially uh, the Eris one, the, the map on Eris, I think it's called Zinni or something like that, X-I-N-I, uh, that is a really good one to use, do if you want them to get Axie relics because they're just really good to do and if you have a full team then you can use that and just basically each person be on a marker and now that's what I, I normally go to Zinni when I'm farming for a new prime so when I was doing a Naris I went to there and then farm my relics from there unfortunately I was not lucky to get them in like the first hour so now the next way is really easy is just from syndicate standing now what I normally do is I normally max out both my syndicate standing when I know there's a new prime coming out so when a Naris comes out for example well he has came out but when a Naris did was coming out I make sure I was maxed out on both my standing and you simply can just buy multiple relic packs uh, mine is maxed out at 99,000 so I'll be able to get a maximum of four I believe because I believe the cost like how much do they cost each 20,000 each they cost 20,000 each so you can get some relics and if you see here when we purchase them you get different types of relics now you think it you get basically just any type of relic it's just completely random so if you see here we've got an anaris one here and then you just keep going through and it's just random so you get random relics and sometimes you can get lucky with getting the ones that you actually need so when a new prime comes out you could get lucky and get the ones that you need now another way of getting like primed um, prime parts really quick is just from radiating, radiate, radiating them. Now, again, what I do when a new prime comes out is a simple. I max out all my void tracers. So when I know that there's someone new coming out, when it gets announced, then we know who the next one is. And because when they get announced, it's more or less not long until they actually do come out. So when they do get announced, I'll max out my void tracers so that I could have many as many goes as I need to. And I also recommend this if you even not if you're not waiting for the next one is just the radiator because that's kind of obvious. It's just radium. Say for example the Baza Prime Blueprint. Make sure it's radiated because when it is radiant, you get a it is basically just increased. So if you see here, uh, it is a lot more further the chances than if it is just like normal. Then it's like really hard to get if it's just normal. But when you obviously radiate them, obviously it's going to increase chances. What you then could do is find a squad that is doing, say, uh, Axie B4 Radiant, because then that's four people with a Radiant Axie B4, or obviously it could be whatever relic you want it to be. And then, yeah, there's this really easy way. And you're more likely to gonna get it in like your first run, because it is not, well, for me, because I'm really unlucky, a lot of the times that I would end up not getting it, but sometimes you do end up getting it, and it just increases the odds even more. Now, what I like to do when I am opening my relics is I'll either one wait for like an Axie 
uh, no, no, actually, I'll just wait for an exterminate or I'll wait for a capture. Now, the reason why, because they are just so much more quicker than doing a, just a defense or, or a survival. Now, another one is excavation. Excavation is also a really good one. Basically, um, if you know what an excavation is, when one drill is done, that gives you 100 cryotic. When two is done, that gives you 200 cryotic when it's fully completed. Now, when you do it on the lift version, you have to get 200 cryotic for then to get your actual prime part. So make sure, make sure that you have 10 uh, void relics, whatever they are, to the, to, before you do your 200 cryotic. So that's a really good one, just really good to know. Uh, next as well, mobile defense, really simple to do, really easy. So yeah, basically exterminate, what I like to do is just bring a really fast melee and just bring a really fast frame. So for example, Vol or someone like that, or even Seren, Seren could be decent as well, or even mess her with her peacemakers. So also, uh, the fa that's the fastest way to open them. The fastest way to get them is like I've said, uh, probably captures um, Zinni because they are if you want to get the highest one it's probably like Zinni and all that but if you want to get like vaulted uh, relics obviously you can't get vaulted relics now you have to obviously get them in the trade in but if you when someone is vaulted uh, then you can't get them but when they get unvaulted all the relics will be in the void and you can't get them anywhere else except for the void so for example I believe it is Nova and someone else that is out right now so Nova, you can only get her uh, Nova and Trinity. So these relics here, the Prime Vault, you would only be able to get the relics for Nova and Trinity from the Void. Basically, anyone that gets unvaulted from the Vault, basically all the relics will be on the Void. You only can get them from the Void, and obviously the uh, packs that you can get, you can get, and you can get them from these packs right here. Now that's basically been it guys, if you guys did enjoy this video and this helped you out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, it would be very much appreciated, and uh, yeah, see you guys later, peace out.